From the M Resort in Las Vegas, it's the unique league tournament where 12 of the best players in the world are battling it out for one and a half million dollars. This is the Party Poker Premier League 4. This is Party Poker Premier League Poker, halfway through the season, and this is where the league starts to shape up. Let's see what happened in match four last time out. Last time, the reigning champ, JC Tran, had a nightmare lasting just nine hands. Oh boy, oh, this is it. Oh, say goodnight, JC Tran. Let's see what kind of cooler this is. Party Poker Pro Ian Fraser had no luck. Out oh. seven. Just a hiring commitment. Oh, God, dang. That is what I'm talking about. You guys are in trouble now. I just created excitement in your life. Oh, yeah, what? It's good, it's fucking good, and that's what I'm talking about. I waited, I trapped him, I checked behind, I free bet, <laughs> I did everything right, and if it's a jack or a ten, someone, something's getting broken. Wow. They've played nearly three levels in this match of the league season. And big shocker, the defending champion out, Fraser as well. David Benjamin, who's the leader of the remaining six, knocked out both of those two. But plenty of play in the chips with the qualifier Giovanni Safina also they put having a, million a great in. I'm start. Telling you, they could fill that field I'm to 64 overnight. I'm joined by night. Daniel <laughs> no, Lebrano. And in. Daniel Phil Lott still in million the million mix added. for three Let's for three if he can pick playing. it up here. Uh, Chip yeah. count still sponsors. really Same close. Luck. Everyone will play. Yeah. Down about 360,000. Tony G holding steady. Just tug the flop. Safina. There must be a reason why it's the not card rack. a lot of big companies <laughs> such as Gold Five Tour, et have a lot of profit and they don't do that. Um, yeah, it's just bad. I don't know. It's not 16, bad. Maybe it's their business Pass. decision, but a splashy raise from with, Luke with up to 16. They should do it. Yep. Just, just do it. This is great for This poker. is clearly a steaming. This is just because it's your birthday. I'm steaming a lot. I'm losing my oh. mind. I'm getting on the trike soon. It's it really, truthfully, I should Small be in the blinds brought in the big. Going straight, to, straight to work out after here. Yes. And uh, uh, lack is this? Uh, okay. All right. Is this tilty? Nah. It was a little bit tilty, but Check. what is? What do I know? He's it's Phil Lock. If he's in a pot, hey, he's got like a king. He's got king five. He's suited, so whatever. Twenty nine percent, thirteen percent, flop trips. What are you this gonna do? Sixty nine percent. This is because twenty to call. I've it's like because the, oh. these two cards and those three cards. These cards. Those, there's a meshing there's a, situation we, happening. We've got that happening. <laughs> we're there. Them. We're we're good. We're Whoops. solid. <laughs> call. Maybe not meshing so good, you know. <laughs> Eight, so Check. lock Check. with a hurt Check. locker on the hand. He's checking it. How often do you bet here if you're Luke? Schwark should never bet here. It's too dangerous to bet against two players. Plus, he has a hand that's that's not going to get beat by you know very many hands. Oh, this is a mistake. I don't see why you would bet here. If someone has a jack, you can check it now. And then on the river, we're gonna very good. Happened. Forward motion, drop, go back to the stack. One drop. Can we get a ruling on that? This is exactly the motion. Drop, come back, drop. I didn't bet anything. Oh. I, checked, I went like that and then Okay, checked. in this tournament, right, that hasn't gone over the line. That's okay. What's, okay, what's the line? Good. This or this? Which is the line? Which one? He this did one? bet. Well, that <laughs> one, obviously, this? the felt. Well, it the depends felt. if it was on the this felt, this one. I guess. Okay. I don't, but he was cutting it out in front of them. Well, I'm a little worked up. They had a heart, you know? Okay. Bubble gum getting me winded up. He just wants to wind Come over and give you a hug after this hand, and you can't stop that, kid. I'm coming over. Phil Locke has just given away the fact that he has a king. You gotta be honest. By asking for that deck to stand. So Marty's Schwartz should know now that he's in trouble. And Ankis. Now that card Ankis. completely gets Schwartz right? off the hook, because he can't beat a king French. or a jack now. You can translate it. Jack. So sick now, I just can't beat a hand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now you have to That's a sign of weakness. I can't push anyone off a jack, so. Just That's too sick. <laughs> it might beat be. anyway. You're actually, you should love that card. Of course. Physically. <laughs> Phil Black's got the jack. It's just moving. It's too, too golden. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't, you have to check if you sick. 
You can't be saying all that lax got the jack, and then there's three, two-handed fine. All, you, you have no idea how much I wanted to talk during this hand, but I couldn't. I'm handcuffed by the three people rule. Okay? Two people, no problem. Hugs, whatever, push the chips in, whatever. <laughs> Grab your chips off the table. That is, that is correct. You're still gonna win. It's a good check. Wow. I mean, of course. Wow. I mean, uh, Claude Jax is out there, right? I can't bet. No. What if somebody has Claude Jax at the phone? What the funny pot? Doing? That what was very strange. Pot. That's the second time he's called me the King Rag and has flung King King Flop when I've had Queens. King Five of Clubs is a good call out of the small blind, though. I told you it was your birthday. It was no, a celebration. It was a good call, though. It's a birthday present. That's why I got to try it. It's firmly placed here. And I promise one thing to you, kid. And this isn't because I won the pot. That's so funny. What's I was giving her time to the queen. Kara's over at the bar. She's got a celebrity impersonator. I'm here with Roland, who I hear does great impressions. So I want you to do some for us of uh, the Premier League guys. First, do, do David for me. Uh, you know, I busted uh, all my online account, and then I busted everyone in Bobby's room, and then I busted uh, in and out Burger and Jack in the Box when I lost uh, 45 pounds because I stopped going there. And uh, I busted them and the people who were insuring them in case I stopped going. I busted everyone. <laughs> okay, do Luke Schwartz for me. Yeah, in it, man, like, you know, because I'm balling out of control. I was crushing the online games, you know, back in 09. You know, but it's so sick in it. I got the J keys. I got. I'm wearing yellow. I'm the real floor flush. A lot are so sick. You know, like I'm from the streets. Proper. My mum is a proper doctor. My dad is a lawyer. And sometimes my uncle is an accountant. So in it, proper on the streets, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> okay, liking it so far. Do Phil Lock for me. Phil, Phil, I'd be like. What is this, like, genius stuff coming out of my head? It's like, so sick, these guys. Dr. Esfandiari, we've been doing the same jokes for like six years. How do we still get invited back to these things? We're not even funny at all. We're just sick nits. People keep inviting us, and we play no hand, Dr. Esfandiari. How do they do that genius stuff? It's like some sort of mind continuum we put on these guys. Okay, finish it off with Tony G for me. I love it. What am I still doing here? I mean, four series in, I've never won a point in this league. It's unbelievable. Totally outclassed. I think it's because I own poker news. They keep inviting me back. But I've got to find a new joke. i got one joke about a bike. It was funny in 2006. But what am I doing here? I'm totally outclassed. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like those hedge fund traders. I used to be like a trader. I used to have a hedge fund. Lines really? are up, and it's time I to get back to the I always used to like do well. And then, like, at the end, oh. it didn't do so good. Right. Well, I, well, I haven't had that not so good part yet, and it's because I pad defend. <laughs> it's poker. Pad defend. Twenty five. Get rich slow, Raised not Twenty five thousand. You know? Keep it stable. Pro yeah, pad defend. <coughs> That's hold. Everyone's <laughs> trying to get rich quick. No, 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 no. It's get rich slow. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Hold. Right, David knows. Hold. Everyone knows. Oh, and right, look, right? look at this. <laughs> Read any good book about how to get rich. And says, get the fact that Tony's slow. showing, he's raised two in a row. Mean, I think he plans on being a little, little busier crawl, right crawl, now. Crawl, crawl, craww. While the blinds are bigger, it's that point where Tony just talked about strategy wise how these heats really? usually run. In the first few levels, you know, it's, it's poker. And now, you know, you get down to five or six handed, blinds get up there. Uh, it's time to start, you know, getting lucky in some of these races, but you got to be active. He, he definitely, yeah, they, keep the it's finally it's happened. Tony, happen. Tony, Tony G, Tony G, Tony G, Tony G has, has, he has decided he is the Tony man G for this spot. The What's up, what was that? Fold. Fold. It's a free roll. Fold. Ace King for Tony G. Looking to get some action with his hand. He's gonna from cool. sixes. You wanna check in the dark like Phil does? I never do that. I look Phil, and then I check. I never you know check in the dark. In a cash game, I played a cash game, and I checked dark behind him, and I like, took all his chips. Oh, Phil Helmut. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought you were saying Phil Lock. I did it once okay. about six check. years check. ago. Benjamin with the best eight. hand, but can't love the flop with the Jack-10 out there. Tony G needs an ace, king, or a queen. The flop could hit you, right? Ten Jack, that's dangerous. You have eight, nine, you can make a move. I'd rather keep it safe. <laughs> There's the king. Check. Check. Tony G, Tony G's firing out a bet. My name is Abdul, I've come to Gambool. Looks like Benjamin should just throw his hand away right here. I don't, it's hard to play sixes out of position when the board reads King, Jack, 10. And the idea that Tony be more likely to bet some kind of overcard, I mean to check an overcard draw than air, he would have bet air on the flop. You would think that he would bet air. This could also be, you know, what Benjamin's thinking is maybe Tony has ace nine or ace eight suited or something oh. like that, and he's just trying to steal it. 
By the way, secretly I'm rooting for Tony to keep winning because the the quality of his banter and his energy is uh, directly correlated to the stack size he has. And so the more chips he gets, the, m the chips he gets, yeah, the more honest. happiness I have. It's not 7-14 yet, is it? No, till no. 5 <laughs> You're ready to play higher. I'm just happy to play this. I've been very patient and waiting for big hands. It's 5, David. I haven't been pretending. I'm, pr I'm just proving to him I'm not ready to play higher. What's the case? So if you could get like really special, you could become special. You could always think you always have well, a king. Right. Right? And then like if that's the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get better. Well, but ace king is always there. <laughs> yeah. You know, you always have that. Schwartz only on twenty-three big blinds. Hey, right. I'm under to twenty two thousand. He's gonna go on the attack with I'm king under attack by the tricolor. Being called by Benjamin <laughs> who has him dominated with King Queen of Spades. Minimum is a call, possible raise. Another so nice cool, hand uh, here for Tony G. So cool. <laughs> it's like nine. How much did he get? Two hundred. Yeah, two forty. Oh, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> two hundred. I have. I have to kind of like. That's the only thing I could do to show how good I am. I can't do it. I haven't got the cool. heart. <laughs> <laughs> Three players. I can't do it. I wish. Well, he's, well, he's called, so <laughs> three players for the flop. Yeah, no, no, I've done it before. I've done that before yeah. and I've raised. So many. You've got to just watch the tapes. I've done it so many times. Just a hard and commitment. Wow, there's an action flop. Oh, my! This is a lot of trouble for I got to, Tony I got to, G, who's got Jackson 9. Benny Mean just 30, flopping the nuts. Now, the tough decision here for Schwartz, he's got just a straight draw, but that's all he has. Uh, it's just, you cool. know, oh, really? I don't know about that call. I think I might have just thrown that away. Now Benjamin has to be licking his chops. The call from Schwartz is actually going to help Tony G here potentially get away. If he doesn't call, Benjamin raises, Tony G can't get away. Now with the call, it's going to it's gonna make it clear that Benjamin has to have a strong hand to make a play. You got me covered. You got me covered like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean? <laughs> you got to think about it. <laughs> In blankets or something? What are you right? And, he is and, all in. and Tony G quickly moves it all in with the two pair. So Schwartz is going to fold it. Tony yeah. G is going to be we'll out of here. Unless he catches a jack or a nine. And Back is this this is kind of a cooler for Tony G? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's pretty unlucky. Flop two pair. With the amount of chips that you have in play here, it's, it's very difficult to flop two pair and go broke. I did it. He won, and I was out the door. What can I do? Not much with jacks and nines. Well, you can spike a jack or a nine. That's what you can do, Tony. It's going to be out in six. Otherwise, you're going to have to get on that little tricycle. Roll off a nine or a jack. That's about all you Whatever can you got there. Oh, wow. Live on the river. And Tony G, a very rough go of it. Move in before the He's pop. got four points. I've got four points. Point. We're in last place. Take care. All right, see you, Tony. See you later. I, got a I think he's got track. five. He gets three for that, doesn't he? Oh, pardon me. He was in six. Oh, okay. Position. <laughs> then I'm in last. <laughs> We've just lost Tony G from the table, and it seems like those with the most points out there, the ones who need them the least, are, are doing the best. So uh, what are your impressions of the table so far? Well, that everyone's playing well, and you know, I just got outclassed again, and I'm um, just at the tail of the field, and hope, hope for better things to come. Back for more from the M Resort after the break. This is the Party Poker Premier League Poker 4 coming to you from Las Vegas. 12 of poker's best are battling it out in this league format where they accumulate points based on where they finish in each match. The top four in the league go straight through to the final table and the next four play heads up for those last two spots. League match four is going on at the moment, so let's get back to the table. I wonder what Schwartz should be thinking wow, about his 180,000 short good, stack. Right? Um, um, well, well, it's a good result for him so like, far. Wow, you know, he's he's going to get up to at least eight points through two heats. Yeah, right. It's, it's not well, so bad. Five of diamonds. He's just going to play poker. Uh, he's well behind everybody else. So when you are the short stack, you can't wait anymore. So you have to, you have to start to push. And he doesn't have the real patient gear in him. He's going to be a guy who's. Benjamin's asked for a count with the small pair. And that's cool. Look at these guys. Does Ben does Luke have mm. enough chips for Benjamin to be calling here? Well, the mouse like is as still I said, Benjamin, the, the one thing he, you know, he's usually like a deep stack kind of player. He likes to see a lot of flops. 
Uh, he feels like he's got a good read of when he's ahead after the flop. So if you feel like you know when you're ahead, you, you, know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. This is not a terrible flop for Schwartz because he does have a, you know, a straight draw. It's a flop I would expect him to bet based on how he plays. Yeah, it's hard to see from this angle, but he is doing all those chip tricks behind that blue felt, I think. Fails. No, no, he's doing it on the felt. Oh, on the felt? Yeah. Oh, on the black felt. Cool. Mm, yeah, something like ah. that. So, so Benjamin making the right decision here, making the call. He, he is in front. Five on the turn. Hey. Schwartz yeah, could do one of two uh, things. He could push pedal yeah. to the metal, yeah. Yeah. which may work, or he can kind of give up on the hand right. and just check and, uh, and, and hope to catch Rio, it. Blanco, Depends, of course, what he puts Benjamin on. Yeah. Right. What do you think overall? Cut. Well, too late. He's already checked. I think Benjamin <laughs> um, may decide to protect no. it now because he's got such a vulnerable hand. Even a nine Check. or an eight on the Check. river, and he'd lose. Oh, but he's checked it. He's hoping his threes are good. Oh, straight on the river. Big card for Schwartz. Big bailout. The line is that blue line, I guess. Well, he's got it on the black belt. His question here is, is he going to go for the value bet, which looks likely? Or is he want to check, show weakness, and maybe have Benjamin bet it for him? Benjamin won't bet, as we know, the threes. It, it's hard to put Benjamin on threes because, as you said, you expected him to be betting that sort of hand. On the turn. Yeah. And Luke would have as well. It looks like, you know, I think in... Schwartz is saying he might be thinking Benjamin hit the jack, so he's got a hand like 10 jack. Or no, and Benjamin's going to throw it away. Go. So Benjamin played the hand Go. close to perfectly, really. You know, he was in there when he was ahead, folded when he was beat. No. And he's got a tendency to do that. He's a good player. The dead button, gentlemen. The dead yeah. button. What did you have there? You got me on there? Because he is actually a very yeah. sort of new school player, Benjamin, but he's old school in the fact that he just... He's actually pays no attention. He's more so I would call him old school all the way. Right. He's been around a long time. He's a mixed game player. Plays, you know, cash games mostly he's adapted to online, but he's definitely old school. He doesn't know the whole right. seat that's that's <laughs> He's not a form oh. guy. Oh. No problem, kids. No problem. No no wars, you know, just love. And Luke's gotten involved from first position. Cool. Giovanni, Queen, you know? action. 9 10 Jack. Green cool. all in. Cool. Way nice. pot. Flank, flank. That's it. He's a goal. Points. There was nothing to do. It's hard to go oh. like this. I just it. It's amazing how that happens, isn't it? They've all got the oh same cards, and it just goes bam. Just completely nailed this flop. Safina's so, okay. got oh, the best right, hand here. That's not why that's coffee or something. Yeah. No, why has Luke yeah. checked? Milk. My little milk. Check. Cool. Tea, actually. Mm -hmm. Luke's Wouldn't just got okay. a straight draw. There's a flush draw out there. That's what my throat needs. Now Vanessa actually, interestingly, has a double gutter. She can catch yeah. a nine or a king. So yeah. everyone's got a little bit of this. Luke is deciding he's going to take this spot. Feeling nobody has an ace. Wait, he's going to go for the bluff. Where are you living in a panorama? Yeah, I live there. But I mean, I live in LA, too. I work out. Safina doesn't believe him. He thinks, he thinks cool. his tens are good. Wow. So now I'm, I'm Vanessa may call for value here because there's a lot of money out there. What do you foresee happening on the river if they all miss? The only one I think that has the guts to really fire a monster bluff is my man Luke Schwartz. And uh, he, he, with a pot that big, he may decide to just go at it if nothing comes or something. He, he's thinking about it. Red three's a blank. Well, Giovanni with just tens. <coughs> if Schwartz were to make a big bet at it, this would be a hero call. So Russo, oh, he's gonna bluff at it's it. It's such a blank. This might work. This might work out even better. But for it's Schwartz. such a blank. This, this is. He's making a huge mistake here. This is actually could work out for Schwartz. If he makes a weak bet here, Schwartz will pick up on the fact that he doesn't have a big hand and potentially just sho shove on it. I, I highly believe it's a big mistake for him to bet. So he's betting. If Schwartz doesn't think he has it, a raise on the river has some credibility. So bet at 55,000. If he sticks it all in here, 
feeling like he's, uh, his opponent's weak. He'll steal this pot away from Safina. How tough is this for Schwartz to do? Not all that tough. I think he's going to do it. I really do. It's an obvious situation. Whoa! Obvious move! I told you! There's no way he can't do that because there's no way Safina can have a hand that he's going to check call on the turn with so many draws out there. If he had a big hand, he would have had to protect it. It's an obvious we, it's actually a rookie bluff. It's the first time I've really seen Safina make a real weak kind of rookie move. Wow, is Safina looking at him? Is Safina reading him? Does he sense weakness? I think you. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And that is what I'm talking about. Oh! <laughs> That is what I'm talking you about. Sick. You are <laughs> See, that's why I check with things like full houses and stuff against this sick puppy. Because he's sick. <laughs> I Bubblegum Schwartz is sick. I'm telling you, authentic. It's not even theoretical. It's real. It's not synthetic. It's the real deal. He's sick. Were you stressed out a little bit? Oh, fuck, my heart was going about a thousand miles an hour. Wow, what a hand. That was a layup, I guess. Absolutely. He had to make that play. Absolutely had to. You know, really, that was just a, a case of taking advantage of an amateur. I think most no, 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 of the young, sharp players would see that situation and go, this weak lead on the river, really? Give me a break. Were people pulling off those moves six, seven years ago? Hardly. Oh. <laughs> no, people didn't play poker like it's they do now. People those. are a lot more advanced yeah, in the way that they think about it. You know, they read situations, and instead of saying, well, Race. I can wait for a better spot, they're like, no, this is my chips. <laughs> I'm going to take them. 22,000. Okay. Got some talking chips now. Cool. See, this is the kind of stuff that Phil, that, that David Benjamin right. does that a lot of people mm. don't. He's making a loose call with 10-6 suited out of position kind of thing. It's Most guys would think it's really bad. I guess I can't really, really call now. Maybe I still can but call. Benjamin plays so well after the flop. Call. He can get away with doing a lot of funny stuff. And Benjamin's the one guy at the table that is not psyched out at all by Luke Schwartz. Not the other guys are psyched out, but, you know, he's right. seen it all before. And sure. I hear they can't I get mean, paid anymore, he, no? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Benny mean is just, I, I think, to be honest with you, overall, I think he's, he defends from the small blind a little bit too often in these situations because it's just harder to play out of position. No matter so how harder. good you are. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's fought the big hand. So <laughs> he's got a flush draw. The question is, is Schwartz going to bet? I, I would think Schwartz would check this flop because he's got a, you know, he's got a draw. If he bets it, expect Benny mean to just call. He's going to checking. Yeah. I like that move. Controlling the pot size, not getting check raised. Now I expect Benjamin to bet. He's got the flush draw, straight draw combo. And I mean, is part of Luke checking there knowing that so often all he's doing by betting is building the pot and not getting any information? Well, the key is you don't want to be check raised off of a hand that okay. could make the nuts. 38,000. And it's a great oh. fold. Well, actually, not a, I wouldn't call it a great fold, but it's a smart fold from Schwartz there to give it up, even though he, wa he, was, he wasn't, even though Benjamin was bluffing. No, no, no. He did have some kind of a hand. You know, Daniel, I know you wanted you, you wanted to come here to and do a lot of commentary because you kind of get a, a feel for everyone, see all their hands. But all you found out is that everybody hits flops except for you. <laughs> like coming here, what magic are they doing? I'm starting to feel like that's true. And when I do hit a flop, somebody has a set. <laughs> every single person gets every flop. I've got a couple heats left, and I've got some tricks up my sleeve. Hopefully I can you know, make a nice run, make a comeback. I have to root against Vanessa, unfortunately, right now because she's low on the chip on the point totem pole. And she's up against it this time. She's got two eights here. Trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, this guy. I mean, how many hands and stuff? He just gets so many hands. And just the table dynamics. If he kind of makes a big raise, she's gonna think he's tilty you know, or what? I just what? don't see how she can get away based on what we've yeah. seen so far. You know, she's got to give him a maybe ace queen ace king kind of hand if he re raises. Um, she can't wait forever. She is the short stack. She's only got two hundred thousand. She's put in twenty five. What's she gonna wait for? This is a spot where I think she's got to go with it. The total Unfortunately 60, for 000. her. I'm all in. All yep. in. Cool. She's dead. And a call. Okay. All in and a call. You have ace king? Oh, God. Yeah. Dang. Unlucky spot for Vanessa Russo. Fuck it, play. Ocho, Ocho. Okay, hey. spot, but Can I hit a set one time, please? I haven't hit a set in like three full matches. I never have the best hand. I never have the best hand. It's been 10 years. I never have any. That's what all poker players think. Ooh, <laughs> a couple of spots on him. Two more cards for Russo. Three of diamonds. No change. Either player. 
One card left. It's got to be an eight. Or Vanessa Russo is out of here. Comes like a soul. An ace on the river for oh, aces shit. full. Oh, she just an eight so Zafina, after taking a hit, back in action. Russo, gone. One match left for Russo. Overall, how's she going to feel about the way she played tonight? Well, I think she's going to feel fine about the way she played. She played, on, I personally think, on the you know in the beginning, she was playing on the careful side, trying to accumulate some points. Um, I think in her last match, she's going to obviously want to, she's going to need to get, you know, five or six points. So she's going to have to get a fourth or better, I think. Well, we've gotten four-handed relatively quickly, uh, Daniel. What is that? Is it just basically been hand-related? Yeah, you know, and one of the benefits of this is that now that we're, we're four-handed with a little bit more play, because the blinds are still smaller, now all four of these guys are all going to have some, a chance to play. I think I made the, made the correct play. Obviously, the bad read and uh, sort of unlucky he had aces, and I can't hit a set for the life of me. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully it'll be nothing but sets and big hands for you in the next match. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs>I wonder, I mean, because Luke's got obviously game in hand in all these guys. Ray Rice. Might feel like it's a good chance to just go for it. Well, I think now, yeah, I mean. Oh, well, yeah, now. With Queens, yeah. I think uh, he'll go for it. Yeah, Safina's decided to open up his game a little bit. He's re-raising with the ace-five. Well, it's just me, too rigged. It's just too rigged. Now he's whining. Oh, he's doing a little rigged, bit of acting. Like, uh, how do you say rigged? What's rigged? It's like it's too rigged. It's too... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's rigged. That was like, hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to moan and whine like he has nothing. <laughs> but he's not going to get any action. Oh. The clock is obviously folding. Safina may buy it. I don't know, though. It's a shame because Safina made a really good three bet from the small blind. He did. He read lock well. He hasn't been doing a lot of that, but now that it's shorthanded, he's decided like to open that. up his game. Just, uh, yes, bubblegum. That's the way we want to see it. It's, it's too rigged. The whole, you know, the complain shove. You know, you know, that's like pocket jacks and up. You know. Baby Ace King, you know? No. The complain is right. He's on it. Wow. Black is right. He knew exactly what he was up against. Wow. Things getting more serious now. They're playing for the big points. Oh. And also, just as you said, with the relative stacks being Raised deep now and right. being four-handed, there's some poker out yeah, there. Yeah, you're isn't usually going to see things happen quickly, either early or late. Um, if if no one goes broke early, things get really fast. Cool. If a lot of people go broke early, things are going to definitely slow That's down. Cool. They're all going to take about the same amount of time each heat. It's just a question of where the most play happens. I would ask how much is in the pot, but I don't want the people at home to giggle and have that embarrassed moment, you know? So I'm not going to ask. Well, almost everybody in. Check. Thirty-five thousand. Schwartz flopping an open-ended straight draw. Locke has a gutter. He's going to make the call. Little does so what Locke know his nine high is good. What, what should Luke be thinking on the turn right now? Well, he's just got to be thinking, you know, what kind of range that Locke has. Locke has shown a propensity Check. to slow play over pairs and things like that. So I think he's, he's a little bit weary that, you know, Locke is not folding, that he's got a jack or better. Check. So it's check, check. Will Schwartz bet the river as a bluff if he misses? So that gives him potential to have a straight. Will he bluff it? He's kind of contemplating. I don't think he's going to bluff this one. Doesn't look like he wants to. God, if he doesn't. His instincts are just, yeah. If he doesn't, the nine high is going to take yeah. it down. Ooh. And he's going to punch himself in the head. Oh, he's betting. 20, he's gone for a really small bet, so only to fold the nine high, perhaps. Essentially, that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get, he's trying to represent that he's just got a pair. He's representing like he's got a jack or a six. Right. Wow, go on. Put a little Luke on Lack. Yes. All right. So nice Lack could have just called with the nine-eye, which is obviously not a play that you'd make. But now that he's raised, will Luke Schwartz 
read some weakness in this, and decide to raise again. I've already got four there. Fucking four can you even have though? But the problem is Lucas is talking, but he doesn't have a hand that can beat anything. If he actually had a pair, he could be saying these things to make the call. But it could easily be the four seven suited Unless or something. Unless he's trying right? to like seven four suited. Doesn't buy it. Well, but the thing is, the only way he can win this spot is to race. And he's giving away too much information right now. So. I wish I just didn't have eight high here. No, it's too late now. <laughs> Bad anything, I think that's cool. And you would be right. I've already done about three all-in bluffs already, so. Oh. Ooh, he was so in tune with what was happening there. Sure. Sure, sure, of course. I knew he had that. That's so sick. So we're at 500. I'm sorry, buddy. I have to do it. I have so much. I could have been a hero. I could have been a hero. You paid 100,000 to get in this mess. I paid 99,500. That's because I'm a genius. Anything I would have called, but I just should have shot. See, well, that's amazing. You know, people at home watching okay, when really I was, understand, like, how do they know all this stuff? It's really you know, high-end poker. When I was a young even man, though he, he folded, I got some pictures developed. You know, he still was on to it. Locke, of course, made a good read. No, the story. Both of them were I playing above I got some pictures developed. We, after the bank, I was in the car with my mom, and she said, why aren't you looking at the pictures? And I said, well, I'll just go home and look at them when I get home. And she says, well, that's a, a sign of uh, strength that you can oh. delay gratification like that. Now you could have found out what I had if you just waited 20 minutes to the next break. <laughs> but you had to find out now for $100. So that's not a sign of strength, Luke Bubblegum. <laughs> I just had to tell you. I just knew right. you had nothing though. It's too sick. I, I should have just jammed. I, I knew to jam. He did, he did. He knew it's to hard jam, for me to have a four after a four instinct. seven almost perfecta. <laughs> or jack four suited maybe. Oh, close, but. But I didn't think I could win if I called, so I just. We race. I don't think I he's looking at yeah, it. See, yeah, the reason he's thinking here. you couldn't have a four is because he so called a bit on the flop and jack six five. So he doesn't, you know, he doesn't think he has times. three four. You know, four seven's possible. Jack four maybe. He doesn't think he, he would play hand. a lot of those hands. I did have the best hand, but I'm a genius if you call, not if you race. Right, right. I'm a genius if I just go. Oh, the kings this time. I think he'll get some action. Safina, Safina has a good hand to see a flop with. And Schwartz looks like he might be a little tilted right now. Of course, we know he just has kings. That gets a lot of hits. Must be nice. He's, he's now trying oh, to really look like he's still thinking about the last hand, but actually he is pretty excited about the Kings, isn't he? Check. Check. This is, it was a small blind re-raise, uh -oh. and wow, Trouble. what a hook. This, what is, this a was hook. good. He checked the flop now. He's gotten Safina to get top pair. He's going to fire out a splashy, splashy but bet. But a big bet, but a really big bet. Oh, Absolutely. Looking for Safina to... Safina's never going to fold this hand, I don't think. All in. Cool. All in. And a call. Holy cow. Something sick is happening. Must be good. It's good. It's fucking good. And that's what I'm talking about. I waited. I trapped him. I checked behind. I free bet. I did everything right. And if it's a jack or a 10, someone, something's getting broken. <laughs> <laughs> something's getting broken. Like if anyone else can check behind, like as if anyone else can check behind the kings there. Anyone who did three bet bluffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I'm in a moment of zen right now because <laughs> otherwise the tenor jacks peel off for sure. He doesn't know. Don't wow, do it, Joe. What to are him. the chances? Jack or a 10, we will see an explosion. First, and and it, it, is, is, it is actually it Luke all in. Like a seven. He's too young. Absolutely. He's a seven. <laughs> Stefani, if he loses this, would be left with just 123,000. Oh, God, this would be so such a sick birthday present if it's just <laughs> it be a sick Jack birthday or tens. It would be a really uh, salty birthday for you. Uh. Jack or a 10 is what Safina needs. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> it's not coming. Wow. And what a sequence of hands there. Oh, bubble gum, you did it. You guys are in trouble now. Bubble gum. But see, you just flop sets. I have to graft my chips. Yes. I bluff. I check behind hand. You know why that is? Because you're younger and you haven't paid your dues yet. I've paid my dues, and therefore, I flop sets. You ask David, he'll tell you. You know? Why did that ten, ten come from yesterday? Because he paid his dues. He's played more poker than you. The more hours you play. No, I've probably played what? as many hands. It's not measured in hands. It's measured in years and sweat. I don't think anybody can match Benjamin's hands. I mean. <laughs> 
high impact so far in the Premier League, Luke Schwartz. And is there uh, is it too early to think about the Benjamin Schwartz matchup for later on? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Locke is hardly out of it. He's got 500,000. Bubblegum is in it. Bubblelicious bubblegum is in it. And up. In it. And up. In it, in it, in it. And up. In it. Bubblegum, when you started doing the pre-gloat, I was like, oh my god, he doesn't know. They, like, ten, ten and Jack, it goes up like 4% when you're like running around like I did it, you know? 4%, <laughs> you want to give that up, you know? Set. Hold on to those percents. Don't give them up. He has to feel more pain before he knows, you know? He does. God, I wish I was The pain's fun know. in a way, somehow. <laughs> it is. Oh. Like, yep, the pain can be fun. It's no better feeling than getting unstuck after oh. the pain rolls in, you know? Then you crawl in, you're like, oh. All in. Cool. All in. Open all Obvious. in. The ace cool. nine, which seems to all stick cool. to Giovanni. Let's it do this. a quick call. Oh boy. Where's the pain this time? <laughs> <laughs> this is what 37 feels like. From Luke. I don't think I want to watch. He's got the pocket up. 10. I don't think I want to watch this one. <laughs> I, I wonder if he would have called with a hand at ace nine feet. I'm just trying. Not that quickly. Not that quickly. Rule number one, you have to find the strength to watch. Even with a hand like king queen, he would have thought about it for a minute. No, the dealer's so sick. Oh my <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> the dealer is so flush, sick. Uh, a jack, Such bullshit. <laughs> you should be here rooting for a jack of spades if you had any sense to you. He doesn't know what's still going on. He's looking on the monitor. Wow. Oh, that's no good. You're getting two outs now, kid. We raise all in on the river with jack right? Safina, anything but the 10. 100%. Okay, so Safina back in action, still on the short stack. But got a little more breathing room now. He's got about 226,000. You feel vulnerable. When you go all in, I you felt know. well vulnerable. Okay, though. good. What's that it's about, true. though, really? What is that about? 100%. Trust me, I was rooting for you. Hello? Move up the point ladder, you know. I love Giovanni, but I have to root for what's best for me. We're in a break, and I've managed to catch up with Luke Schwartz, who is running over the table. You're really good at sensing weakness and making the right moves that sometimes it can be hard for other players to make. Is that right? Yeah, well, I definitely got the no-fear aspect. I'll go with my read. Uh, I could have gone with it one more time when I knew Phil Lack didn't have a four in his hand. There was hardly any four combinations he could have had. But I'd just done, such a, I'd just done exactly the same re-raise all in on the river as a bluff. So I just let that one go as a smaller pop. But I should have done it again, a bit tilted about that. That's what I'm fucking talking about. But that is what I'm talking about. And you seem to uh, be very enthusiastic about it once you uh, show your bluff and it's kind of an in your face sort of thing. Is that to put them on tilt? Well, I could have shown some more bluffs, <laughs> but I'm just showing basically one a session. I did one last session. I'm going to try and do one every session, a big, massive all in bluff. Um, and you get paid on your big hands then as well. Yeah, of course, exactly. And it's my birthday, so obviously I'm going to be excited. <laughs> Happy birthday Thank and you. good luck back in there. Get skated into a win. Well, I'm joined after the break by Ian Fraser, who was recently knocked out of this heat. Pass. Ace 10, right? Bubblegum, I had to do it. Raise Ian, it, you're going to be up against oh, it for your last match. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, um, I was on my back foot before this yeah, heat, cool. Jesse, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely back against the wall. This has been limp and check, small blind, big blind, and then Luke just airing it out on the flop. <laughs> Benjamin, he's going nowhere with bottom pair. No, he, he doesn't. I was kind of talking to Dave a little bit on the break, and he was, he was kind of, he was joking around about Luke. He says, you know, these guys, you know, it doesn't impress me moving in with nothing on the river and this sort of thing. He says because they're putting so many chips at risk, and it's actually funny to hear him talk about that because, like. I mean, David Benjamin's not traditionally a tournament player, but he <coughs> seems to have sort of that understanding you have where it's like, you know, you just don't want to go broke. No, of course not. You know, it's not, it's not too bad um, bluffing off some of your chips, but you don't want to be sticking them all in. Oh. Yeah, this, is, uh, <laughs> this is pretty standard play. He's on a dream scenario Pass. here. And quick call from Benjamin. Yeah, we got the flip. We got an all-in and a call. Mm -hmm. Nice job, nice game. 
Let's have this ISO king. Let's do this, Benjamin. Wow. I love how David's the only one not standing up. Now he's standing up. We're all standing up. King. Oh, sick. Yes. There it is. <laughs> You're sick. You can't do that out loud, kid. <laughs> Why? Yeah, uh, that's, that's so in. nice that you know how is it. But uh, I think Luke's talking about that's trying to get eight death. points. It's nothing personal. And Safina's down to two fours. It's not a normal poker tournament, isn't it? It's different. Okay. Now, Giovanni should be feeling pretty good about the way he's done in this Premier League so far. He'll have, I think, 21 points through three matches. And that's going to guarantee him, from my mind, top eight. Oh, yeah, and, for sure. definite. And, and, and give him a chance. Maybe maybe top four in his fourth match is going to bring him into the, into the final table. Yeah. Well, just three left for the big points. Benjamin cruising. Luke Schwartz really needs that 11, so what's he gonna do? Giovanni, you've just gone out, but you must be feeling really good about your game, especially against the pros. You're doing so well here, going into the final table, probably guaranteed for you now. How do you feel? Oggi, terza, terza sit. Today, the third session was a very good result. Fourth place is good for the standings, but the first two in the league, Benjamin and Lack, are way out in front. I'm vying with Schwartz for third and fourth place. The last session will be very important, but I'm optimistic for the final table. Good luck in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. It's not 16,000. Benjamin is going to have at least 32 points now through three matches, and Lack is going to have at least 40 through three matches. Those two Yeah, these two are Roman O's, yeah. you know, basically. Um, and it's going to leave two spots open, guaranteed spots at the final table. Uh, with J.C. Tran getting the bagel today, it's actually pretty open for those yeah, two it is, spots. It is. I mean, you probably win it in. Well, I don't know. There's so many permutations, Jesse. You give yourself a blink and it ain't thinking about it. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Let's just play the game, yeah. the next day, and see what happens after that. Because all the players are so good, it's really okay. hard. You know, you think you're all comfortable at one minute, and um, you take your eye off the ball for like 10 seconds, and, and you're, you're down again. And I love the stuff between Lack and Shorts because... Uh, Luke keeps trying to outplay Phil, and Phil's up for it, and they're outplaying each other. And look at this. Phil's limped in here, checked, and he's going to try and hang Luke now. Now, if you're Phil, you just call here, or you make a little check raise and make it look like air? Well, you'd think definitely cool, but, you know, Luke's not that transparent. Raise? You know. It's the 52000 pass? $50. And it, sure. it's not like he's after so that's um, Phil. He's actually after everyone, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And yes, to answer your question, if you had done one more level of aggression, I would have folded. That's the answer you were looking for. I would have folded. But it's hard, because you don't know that I don't have a nine. That's why it's so hard. I know. That's why it almost is OK. I can just show the hand for 50 bucks. Another, uh, another year, and uh, I think he'll be an absolutely fantastic player. He yeah. just hasn't got that bit of fear in his game yet, Luke which yeah. I think <laughs> you need right. you know, to um, reel yourself in there again. Luke now owes Phil Lack, I think it's over $600 and just Raises paying to see his cards. Yeah. <laughs> and there was one earlier where they were going to go on a break in five minutes and he was going to get to see it anyway. Like he couldn't that, right? wait. When I call him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You like that? <laughs> Prefer well, that's a raise pot. Position, but. Big flop for Benjamin. Okay. He's, he's just so sneaky. Would you, you, you're checking that all the time? No, I'd lead out of that. 36,000. <laughs> How is Phil falling for it? I don't know. <laughs> See, if, if he makes a big bet now, David, it, it, it stinks of a massive hand. So he has he to has call. He has to flat call, yeah. Make it look like he's got sure. a pair that he can, yeah. pocket pair that he can be bluffed off of on Maybe a nine or a seven or something. And Lack at this stage drawing fairly dead, now completely dead. Okay. I think he locks up now, Phil, myself. He made, that I've seen, one real three okay. barrel bluff against JC that went wrong. But yeah, usually he slows down a bit. Now David bets and uh, Phil passes. Question, I guess, is. David thinks he's got a better chance of trying to induce uh, 
Yeah, maybe the, the check because the I'm sure he knows that Phil hasn't got anything at all. Yeah. I sure wish I had the three four spades because I would have a present for you and it would not be something you would like, but I don't have a three four spades. That's so a fold then, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Any federal? No. I had two cards and I couldn't beat a 3 4. I'm a wall right now. David Benjamin actually, he probably three bets less frequently than anybody. You know, in the Premier League. Maybe him and JC. I don't know. Luke's been raising in front of the button nearly always. Horrible. Raises to 35,000. Horrible and three handed. You, oh. you know, you don't want to call with this hand. Give me my cards. I would I'll tend to over raise. He's not scared of the tricky decision, Schwartz, though. Him and Tim Oshenko like that. And actually, Phil's been just killing him with kings, suited kings. If he checks back here, he's going to save himself. Okay. Yeah, but save himself some chips. I that's mean, the if he same makes as stand giving up, there, though, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But if he if he makes a bet there, Jesse, then he's going to be in the pot for at least okay. one and a half. Hmm. Wow, he can win it now. Okay. Oh, I doubt it. Phil calls this. Thirty thousand. It looks so much like a straight. <laughs> Can't not call that for 30,000. It's impossible. <laughs> Six, seven. I would have bluffed that on the flop. You bet the flop I'm calling. <laughs> He's mad. That was easy call for Philly. Yeah, of course it is. It's just top pair. How many king rags do you want to play versus me when if I If they're suited all day long, three-handed, kid. I, I called all in 500,000 against Roland the Wolf yesterday for with king six because I think king high is a good hand. That's Every time I got you crushed with a pair, you got king rag and beat me. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know what you have, and that's why I can call. If the second I see that you have force, I can call as well because now I know what you have. So I, I, I still have to call. <laughs> Trapped. <laughs> Always calling, right? It was suited, kid. <laughs>I think you had to make the raise a, a lot bigger, Big Jesse. That, that's mm. the problem with the fours there. Fucking hell. Schwartz and Lack are actually quite evenly matched in the chip stacks right now. And great raise spot for Benjamin. Oh. Although. Well, that was easy. Thinking about and then Phil smooth called here. If uh, if Luke makes a squeeze, I don't know what he's got, but if he does make a squeeze, he might be getting called. Well, he, lo he looks like he's gonna make a bet. He's, you see one card, he's all in. It must be ace queen all or right. queen. Won't be queens. Ace queen. Pass. Yeah, ace queen. He's all in. Now, Phil so Lack has some reasons if, to gamble. If I die I mean. here, how many points and how many dollars do I get? And if I go to two, <laughs> what is the point dollar thing? You get 6,000 more. You have this and three more points. Eight points if you go out now, which makes you a total of 40 points. Yeah, but eight, eight is death here, and how much money is that? 16,000. Point, one point is 2,000, buddy. I so don't really if this think is 16, really what does number two get? I mean, he, yeah. 11 points. You shouldn't be trying to add up that many. You know about the money because I, think, I mean, he's won two. He's like going to be in, a, in final. the final. The only strategy here really is. So it's, he has me covered, right? He has to. Yeah, I've got you covered. Yeah. Well, the strategy is, I mean, the strategy is the only thing that's really yeah. worth it to Phil is to go, it's to go for first. Covered, and also to sort of knock Luke back a little bit, maybe. It is your birthday. Well, if he doesn't call this in this spot, no, um, okay, you can no, have it. It's well, obviously, his eights can be um, the worst hand, but first off. But if he so doesn't he call, then the what he's saying is he wants to wait and let works. David try and knock Luke right. out. Fails. By, by doubling up here, going for the double up, he has a much better chance of getting 16. And by folding, he's oh got a better boy, chance of getting 11, I guess. Yeah. 
I mean, what am I doing? I'm hoping I'm racing, I guess. Is that what I'm doing? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I don't think it's that easy to kind of have 500. It's kind of okay. <coughs> you know, well, you like got you King Queen. The best is... Uh, How much do you owe me now? You owe me 550, right? Yeah. Inside that. <laughs> how is no, that going to matter? I can't yeah. see how everything evolves around a, a dollar bill. Oh, do I want to race? Wow, I could be winning though. I could be. I could be 80 percent over you. I could just be 80 percent. Oh, you got Ace 10 or something? Please spare me the Ace 10 rubbish. You know. It's not an instant call. Here with the eights, I, I don't fancy. That's a fold, then, yeah. Yep. Pass. Which pair was it? Sixes. It was hard to fold. It Sixes. was the pair that was hard to fold. Sixes, please. Higher, higher, sixes. No I give you a hundred thousand dollar free roll if I didn't have sixes beat. Okay. Seven. <laughs> he had sevens. Then. If he's saying it like that. <laughs> higher, 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 anyway, Luke's probably <laughs> happy enough that sevens. he got the fold. That I'm the worst. Got some distance. What was the minimum pair you would have called with, David Benemy? I probably would have called with sevens. Raises to thirty-five thousand. Sorry. Yeah, Luke's always going to see a flop with cards like this from a big blind. Can't help him, so. Check. Right. I'd love to see a check here from Dave. Oh, wow. Luke's got ideas. <laughs> now, why would he have ideas? Well, he always has, you know. It's like, see, this is what, calling in the big blind with Good the 8-10 of arts, it, it's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But when you completely miss the flop, then you've got to give up. But his character and the way he plays poker, he, he just don't give up. <laughs> That's a funny card. Well, Check. it's tricky for David. If he bets, can he get called by a hand that he that uh, is worse? Security! I have never seen. Have you ever seen that? No, never. <laughs> uh, it's a split pot right now. I, I can I'm beat that just about. Unless, check, check. Unless betting, huh? Plus you had the ten too. Wow, you guys both get just Pretty you both. You guys are so good. You just get royal straight flushes, huh? Royal flushes. I guess you don't have to say straight when it's a royal flush. Wow. You guys can do it. I, I don't yeah, think I, I have seen ever seen, seen a royal I've dealt up on the two. Huh? No. I don't think I've ever I've seen I've never that. seen it. Ten years I haven't seen that one. Should <laughs> Photoshop that. Can we Photoshop that? <laughs> that, was that was amazing. Break. I didn't even realize that was one of uh, Luke's outs. Got <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally got unlucky. Yeah. You at the chop? You, you made a royal flush and had the chop. That's yeah, tough. Yeah, I had a flush. Against yep. the straight. I know. I was going to get another 50. Yeah. You got unlucky. It's hard to win. That just goes to show you how hard it is to win. You can have a straight flush and you, you don't even make a nickel. That's right. Us casinos, they used to give you a you know, bottle of champagne or something thousand. like that. Or you make a royal flush and poker table. You get a bottle of shampoo here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We are same handed here, lack from the button, Benjamin from the big blind. No one's really in any hurry to sort of jack these pots up, are they? No, I mean, you know, it's still second place is a big difference, Jesse, point wise. That's, you know, that's the main reason. Could just get checked to Oblivion here. I think Check. someone a bet here now. Yeah, it's perfect card for a bet now. 32,000. And you, you can't fold, right? You can't fold here if you're Benjamin. This is just getting well, silly. Uh, I suppose what's he going to do next time? Four aces. Felak might go all in. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> be a funny play, wouldn't it? Well, it would be funny, but I don't think so. 
He's like one of those guys that's always about these negative free rolls or whatever you call them. Oh. He would he would consider it. You you you're not a bad judge, Jesse. He's he's, he's made a big stab at this. <laughs> he definitely would have. I think he has to call. Maybe. See, it's a it's a weird price you get all here, right? It's 142 now to win. What is it like? Forty thousand or something. Yeah. He's put him in kind of a difficult spot. He's put him in the kind of spot actually where re-raising all in is way better than calling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Phil's just said to himself here, Benjamin never ever checks four jacks here ever. I think it's more because um, Phil bet the turn, you know, and he's he's sort of uh, got a bit of momentum in the hand to crack on on the river. Well, he's he's, he's actually done it, so you called it well there, Jesse. I'll tell you what, for $50 you can see one card, and for 100 you can see both. I know how to jack, so I'm not that bothered anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Too sick. You give me $10,000 if you didn't have a jack? Yeah. You will? Yeah. Free roll? Ten pounds or dollars? My house. <laughs> I don't want your house. I want pounds or dollars. Something pounds. I can meet you in the casino. Pounds. Ten thousand pounds if you didn't have a jack there. Wow, that's a good free roll. More from the M after the break. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4. 12 of the world's best players met in this unique league format for a piece of a one and a half million dollar prize pool. Ian Fraser joins Jesse May in the commentary box. It's irrelevant. I didn't show it and I had Jack 7. Action on bubblegum. Can't wait till the, the on camera the button. picked up some edge of it, you know? It's fine. Sure. It's King Peace. Raise this to 35,000. Call. And this, these Benjamin the just calls all yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he does call cool like, you know, uh, the data points it's really difficult to put him on oh. something. This is one of those curve defining moments. See if I can add one more point on this. <laughs> Push that curve out, you know? Well, he could have squeezed, but he hasn't. Not a fan of calling with Phil's hand. I'd rather pass or pop that up. Because it's going to be so hard to make big money yeah, to get the five, you know, and you're never going to you're never going to get the flop. Are you? You're asking for miracles, then. And Luke's got to be careful here. Well, I mean, oh. David Benjamin's got an interesting decision. Do you think he calls or raises? I can't see him calling. No idea. I think he, I think he should raise here and, and find out, what's, find out what, what's happening. Otherwise, he could be facing um, two hundred thousand bet. And after the I turn, I guess if he does raise, he can actually get some hands to fold that it's are better than him. Maybe ten with a slightly higher kick. Or something. <laughs> I mean, Phil couldn't call with ten queen here, could he? He's, he's raised anyway, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, you called it right. Oh, that hurt. How much more? Pass. Maybe the rush. We're going to go back to playing tight, right? <laughs> you know, I just see if I couldn't steal. It'll hurt. Wow, it's it's some, it looks good, 60, you know. 60, something and he's got some kind of idea here, Luke. What kind of idea has he got? Well, he's got two overs. He's probably putting David on a 10. You know. Uh, so he thinks maybe he wins with a queen, king, or ace? The, yeah, the worst thing is he don't know what he's got with his 10. If he gives right. him credit for a 10, he could have any other card with it. Yeah. So it comes jack, queen, king, ace. He could still be behind. Okay. He's checked it. So this is good for Luke. He must either take a free card or move all in. He's, he's only got just over the size of the pot. 367,000 in there. Luke's got about 400k. Is the bet? I don't understand it. Nah, I'm not. Too. Well, you're never folding oh. if you're Benjamin. No. What are you doing on the river? Yeah. Luke's got himself in a deep hole. <sighs> Check. <laughs> I think he knows it. So sick. 
What was he doing? I don't know. He, he either had to pass a turn or move all in. <sighs> Can you guys have a huge war? Can you just do it? Just, <laughs> just do a little, okay, a small war. I should have just raised you. He can't call. So right. too sick. I don't know if you realize, but I'm just, I just created excitement in your life. I never fear anybody and I played as high as I could and as fast as I could. I had in mind that I wanted to learn really quickly. I didn't want to spend five, seven years learning. I just hate that. I always want to try to be good real fast. I lost, I went broke, I came back, I went broke. But overall, I learned poker really fast. I'm not trying to win the tournament. I'm just trying to do whatever I believe is right. And you know, very often you're disappointed when you play poker. You can't just win, you just cannot. Of course, it's always a great feeling to win and I can't wait to, for that feeling again. This tournament, without a doubt, is the best yeah, in the you world. Want to make you know, it um, it. it's a must see. I could probably everybody. get three solid oh, cards for 6K. <laughs> it's just golden, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you know, even if he does, doesn't get any action, he, he's keeping his, you know, his toe in the water. Oh, Jesse. trouble, Schwartz! He's, Why, what's get, he's just shoved I'm all sure in. I'm going to raise you all in. Uh, yeah, I've all a raise. Really? 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 There's a raise and an no, all in. He's in big trouble. Oh, yeah, Luke left some cool. chips back. Uh, must have sixes. Oh, <laughs> 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 is it sixes? Uh, so you got to love him. It, it could have been a six, well, I guess. It can be anything. Yeah. Story here. It can be anything. you got to love this kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is, a, this is the emotion of the Premier you League. Spade, yeah? Jesse, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Just don't put it three, four, five, please. And three sixes. Huh. Whoop. And that's the start of this. We need a squeeze. heart or a five or a deuce. Yeah, look at that. He's in better shape now. There's no point in even swaying. It's like 5%. What's the fucking point? Five, five of hearts is the key <laughs> card right now, isn't it? Five I'll tell of you, hearts? if you're crying over there, it's like 2%. If you're, if you're hoping over here, it's like 4 or 7%. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now you're drawn to 0%. <laughs> okay. We're heads up. Now Schwartz is going to have 12 right, points. Bro through two matches. What did you have when I folded my eights? Ace Not queen. A spot. Uh, what do you have, Jack? A lot queen? of stuff's going to depend queen. on the Ace next queen. two. It would have been bad play probably just to not push there with the ace six. Obviously wakes up with aces. I mean, him and Lack just complete, they just hit the deck in the face just every single hand. Uh, I get my chips by bluffing there. You get their chips from having aces and whatever. Um, well, it is, there are some tough players out there, and we're looking forward to seeing you in your third matchup as well, because you've been very entertaining so far, both uh, your personality and your poker. It's really good fun to watch, so thank you. Thank you. Thanks. By the way, I'm okay if I lose, of course, but I would like it to be through, like, hand versus hand sort of confrontations, not being just pawned and schooled and owned. So if you can keep the pawning to a minimum, I would greatly appreciate that. One of these two players Just, is you know, certain to be Jack, chip I'm leader totally at the final table. Live with that, yeah, you know? I mean, they both know they're in the final, but um, Jesse, I cool. promise you now, Phil wants to win this bag. Raise. Come on. You know, he's Raise won the first two. He wants this big style. The first time for a gamble, and Phil's got his chips over the line. I'm and he's gone all in for like, she's nearly Half 20 big blinds, yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. That's a cool. Turn him up, Jim. You have these high? Yeah. <laughs> okay. At least it's not ace face. Oh, I need this. This will be sick. This will be too Ooh. many sickness things in a row. This is more about going for the record <laughs> than anything else. Wow, what if it comes? It's been coming so much I half expect it, which is a really bad place to be. I shouldn't be here. I have to go back to just knowing it. it's 40%. I'm much healthier there. It's 40%. It's 40%. He feels it's like 40%. the favorite. It's 40%. Oh my God, 40%. He's hit a king every oh time. He's, I mean, it is unbelievable. Wait, don't even do anything. Don't even do anything. I just, <laughs> if the pain comes, I want to see it razor sharp, clean right out of the gate. I don't want the like. Wow. There's just some wow. things you can't explain in poker. Just the ace. Just the ace to end it, or they're basically level stacks. 
Actually, I'm strong enough to take it. I can take an ace. I just got my strength up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope it doesn't come, but I'm coming. strong for it. I can take it. <laughs> it's not coming. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, a weird pot because it was a oh, massive open I'm sorry, shot. Now, yeah, now like I, I got teeth. See, I, I well, think I got Phil knows in his mind teeth. as well. He's oh, had so much form with the kings. Four you four know, and four king, four queen, especially. He's and obviously feeling it. You know those, you know rushes, that's what happens in gambling. And he's got one now. I feel like I'm supposed to go back to the first 21 hands and fold everything. Just to see what it feels like. This is the highest chips I've had the whole tournament. You know, oh. <laughs> like the most I've had. I, I feel like I'm not supposed to play anything for like at least eight hands, just to have eight hands of enjoying the, my maximum stack. It just feels so good. I bet it won't happen. I, of course it's not going to happen because I'm going to reach in and I'm going to have to. How many more hands at this level? 64 hands more? It's this level till we end? Well, this is like the first time that David sort of stepped out of these boundaries. Feels still on a complete high from the last hand and I'm pass that pretty quick. We're 10 right there. So we have uh, 11 more to go, right? Okay. Oh, you know, the blinds are only 10 and 20. He moved all in for 550,000. Yeah, I know, so half a million. But that, that's insane. Yeah, of course. Exactly what I was saying. This is going to, they're going to go in here as well, Jesse. That's correct. Exactly what I said to you, I didn't think would happen. I think the pot's wrong. It happened straight away with a king queen, but he obviously got oh, a feel okay. for the king queen at the minute. Well, Benjamin's just trying to play flops here. I thought that would have been, um, Check. had about a few chips in there pre flop. He's just not Check. really the kind of guy who, who does a lot of three bet. I guess even heads up. It's weird, isn't yeah, it? it is weird. He, you know, even on this flop, nothing's happened. And Locke's hand looked really strong on the flop. I mean, why wouldn't you bet the flop no, there? Don't. Check. Check. This, is, this hand's played absolutely incredible. You know, you stick any other two players down there, that'd have been all in pre-flop, definitely on the flop. I don't know if Lack has wasted an opportunity to win this pot or not. Maybe he couldn't get Benjamin off it. Maybe he would have had to really. But the thing is, if there would have been a, you know, a raise, a re-raise and a call, and then the flop comes down, Phil moves all in straight away and wins the pot. Right. So, I sort of had a little something kind of, and it kind of sort of had, I checked because I kind of sort of had something. He, you know, I think he's on. He's on a level at the minute where he probably thinks he's invincible. You know, everything's going <laughs> I think for he him. Is. Yeah. I mean, raised to sixty thousand because he's that type cool. of player. Do you understand what I mean, Jesse? He's not like. Well, he always says he feels the vibes yeah, at the table. Yeah, he's saying he, he, oh, he, oh, oh, everything. <laughs> you know. Well, that's a nice flop for Benjamin. <laughs> check the check. I check in the dark. Uh, look, check. By the way, if a diamond comes, let's both relook at our hands at the same time. It's worth looking anyways. At the same time, so we can't look at the other guy for a tell. This, this okay. is not fair to look at your hand if you have the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's on you. I wonder if Locke bets if Benjamin checks. Or you just can't be checking the nuts this often, can you? You gotta well, bet it now. And check. Well, uh, once the ace comes, I think he has to 60 check it. So he's done well, look. Can't raise. We're too fishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he knows exactly what he's got to do. Call here and check the river. Yeah. God, so he's cool. he's good. Yeah, of course he is. He's really good. He's been invited into the Premier League, Jesse. He's got to be good. He was absolutely chomping for a diamond there, David. Well, you probably have some lousy ace, but I'm hoping you have the king of diamonds and, like, the five of clubs, which you probably don't have. You might have king five. You might have king ten. I don't know. Lex, give it up. I checked. Give me this money here. You have a flush, huh? You have an ace? You have something big? 
Oh, you had a very and good. You know night. what? Even there, though, Benjamin has gotten the most out of, of it, course. hasn't he? I mean, he I got sixty thousand. He, he would never. Me too. But now I realize it's. I'm running lucky. I don't get what I need when I don't need it. You know? I mean, when I think I need it, I don't get it. That's running lucky. See, if you don't see his hand, you think you ran bad. Ace, you just flopped the nuts. Kid, what are you doing to me? Just started lipping in a little bit, Benjamin. That would normally be a raise, you know, Queen Six. But because he's um, been getting such good cards, he can fall to limp with this. You know, you're not far off an average hand with that. Well, bottom pair, he's just depending on what comes, he's either going to try and check it down or protect his hand. Or it's very. Tricky. Right, he's got Check. a bet now, Phil. Check. No? The thing is, he's gonna whatever comes now, he's gonna call a bet on the river. So I'd rather bet the deuce on the turn. Yeah, and Benjamin can there. easily have a king or even maybe an ace that he wants to start calling with, right? You see? Twenty. He comes out. Do you understand? Cool. That's why he should have bet the turn. Yeah. These funny little bets on the river. Okay, that. That's a lesson for the people at home how not to play a flopped pair. You can check the flop, but you gotta bet the turn. Really hopeless. Yeah, Maybe don't worry, I told him, Phil. <laughs> You're I in my corner, man. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe I will. Maybe that's how hey, blind, Phil. Yeah, it fine. can be done. Who knows? Raise to 50,000. I don't think Phil's. Two. 150. Right, because he, he hasn't really taken any. He's, he's not taking flops from the big blind. He's on the re raise or fold mission. And Benjamin's just sort of cottoned on to that, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, I'm sure he has, yeah. But, you know, even in this spot, they, you know, King 8 suited. We, we've seen him with King 3, King right. Deuce suited, so we know this is definitely going to get played. Oh, look at this for a flop. Wow. 120. And, and Benjamin's not necessarily done with it. Oh, I think he is, yeah. Yeah? Oh, he's you're, not calling, you're not calling with King 8 to sort of then continue on this sort of flop, Jesse. You, you're open to it something. Do you have a sense that Lack was weak pre-flop? and You know, the quick bet normally um, oh. means that you've got it in your mind. You're betting whatever comes down, but he's too smart, this fella, David. He was a bit unlucky there, Phil. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he could have like gone with, with a nice hand. I still like it. Call. This is a point of pride now, it looks like. You just start limping in here. These are two very clever guys. Thirty thousand. Call. Check. Sixty thousand. Oh, this is better than going to the cinema. Wouldn't a lot of people just check behind there with Benjamin's? Now he's caught a. Now he's caught a pair. Whoa. What's What's the idea? You can read a five, just like that. He bet the flop and got a call, so yeah, now like he's in his card. Why not bet again, Jesse? He might get another Pass. call. He's probably put Phil on an ace. You know, Phil's likely to call just, again. Did you pawn? Did you pawn me? Oh, let me show you one. So you can have something to look forward to check on the computer. I am looking forward to checking that. Welcome back at Season 4 of Party Poker Premier League Poker, where the game's elite are battling it out for part of a $1.5 million prize pool. League Match 4 is underway, so let's get back to the table. As, as we know from, and you know from being in so many Premier Leagues, there are, it's two tournaments because winning, obviously, the league table is very Raise prestigious. But the final table is something else altogether. Completely different game again, you know. 
This is this. These are just the qualifiers. Yeah, and there's a lot of prize money on the final table. Plus, obviously, the trophy. Is it time for another re-raise? He's, he's, he's good at timing them. I just feel like at some point, re -raise. it's going to work until it doesn't. I mean, Benjamin's very yeah. clever. You know, it's almost like gotten to be a pattern now. As he really, every time he re-raises, got enough to stand it all in. Total. As long as you don't do it too often, you, you're going to get away with it. I was thinking that we were 30% for that to be the one. It felt like 30% of the time it was going to be the one. <laughs> like, may have been a bit worried there. He, he likes to try and sell it after, doesn't he? Raise is to 75,000. No. Call. Okay. Like, there's a spot where most people would have gotten in Yeah, trouble, maybe right? would have re-popped, yeah. Um, Just gotten in terrible trouble. Yeah, problem. I like this call. I like the call. Obviously, it's a fantastic flop. Check. Wow. <laughs> I was just saying that to looking for no that card higher 000? than a 10. Call? Yeah, he's, he's open for a spade here, or obviously a king, king or jack. Or uh, if it goes check, check on the turn. It might oh look at that. Yeah, see it's a, a nice car Check. for both hands here. And Lack has to bet this because it's so likely that Benjamin has got two hundred thousand some kind of piece well, of you know, board got something, yeah. yeah. For sure. Call? Quick call, this pot's big. Benjamin hasn't even considered raising. I wonder if he hits it, if he'll bet or check. He missed. Check. You got all Man United over nothing there, Jesse. <laughs> 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 it's close. Black two. Yeah. We know this is. Um, Phil's hoping and praying that you know he's going to get something out of this. Almost all in. Pass. I've never heard a dealer say that before. Almost all Almost in. Almost all in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the right description, but. <laughs> He's took the chip lead with us. Nice thing, sir. Thank you, the sir. The Unabomber. It was a good hand, and he, he played it. He played it perfect. I think he got the absolute max out of the hand. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he bet know, it pretty full on. Didn't yeah, he? the the turn was a good card for David, and. Um, you know, he, he made him pay for it, Phil, didn't he? Raises to 80,000. He, he's unstoppable. He is unstoppable. And yet, now you've watched him a lot, you've played with him a bunch of times. You meet Lack again, aside from the fact that if he keeps getting cards, he's unbeatable. What do you generally do against him? Most people say re-raise him a lot. Check. Um, yeah, I think that the way to get at him would probably be, uh, you know, more pre-flop myself. This, this was definitely raised pre-flop. I guess it was, it was, yeah, al always tricky, like, uh, you know, a raised pre-flop. Okay. This sort of board comes down and check. You, you ain't sure what to do there. There you go. It's a Got a master He'll be pleased flash. with that, yeah. Gonna put Lack with a really tough decision if David bets here. I can't see why David wouldn't bet. Well, he's checked twice, Phil. So you're ninety-nine percent sure he's got nothing. One hundred and twenty thousand. It's amazing. I knew we were both gonna check the flop, and I knew you were gonna bet like eighty or something. You're betting one twenty. Feels like I got a fold, it's so sick. Wow, I had a million outs. I had like 87 outs. Pretty good fold, isn't it? In a deck of 40 something, right? So I was two to one favorite to connect. What's Pass. the math on that? How am I supposed to miss? I do crush on the flop. We could have danced a little dance. A little dance, a little Saturday Night Live. He's lying. Yeah. 
The turn. <laughs> I don't like the dance so much. I don't like the I dance. I think he I believes it. Well, <laughs> he, he's, I think he's trying to no? say he had 86 I mean, I, I, I don't know what you have, but I had, you, I had a hand I wanted to. I wasn't going to check raise. I was going to. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I should just <laughs> fold that pre flop. <laughs> just loves talking. Man. Yeah. That make it easier on you. Definitely a little easier on you. Raises to 80,000. Well, we haven't seen one of these in a while. And you mean maybe just itching a little bit to play a flop. It's kind of a good flop for him. Check, 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 check. check, check. Expect to see Benjamin be betting oh. the turn if it comes under I like could, a I couldn't bet that with ice cream. Uh, I couldn't check that with ice king. Right. If I got ice king on that flop, I'm not checking. Not a great card for Benjamin in that. Like Phil has to call if he bets here. Phil has to usually call with ace high, right? But it shouldn't be any different now. So ninety-five thousand. Beat him into the pot. It's the river. That's the question. And now there's three fifty in there. I wonder if Benjamin feels like he needs to take a chance on this river. I don't think so. Now um, he's going to be sticking two hundred thousand into this. It's not been his style up no, till now, hasn't. has it? it hasn't. Yet, God, he must be capable of it. Check, check. Just that, that card, how hard is it for Benjamin to have a four there? It's pretty hard, I guess. Right? Pass. So, that was a major pie. Yeah, it's a massive pot. How no, quick this is the Phil lowest call. David's been? And how quick did Phil call on the turn there? Amazing. Look at their sort of chip histories and lack. Of, uh, what a model of success he's been, straight up. He's had no setbacks. Yeah, he's played fantastic. Well, I'm not sure what we're in here for, Ian. I mean, has it been a boring heads up? Has it been a long heads up? Has it been tactical? No, I think um, it just shows you that uh, how bad Phil wanted to win this. Yeah. Jesse, you know. Um, David had, um, he's had an extremely good run of cards, heads up, and uh, he's lost the two big pots, hasn't he? So saying, Lack limping with the Check. aces. Check. Check. 2040. And playing them very craftily. Check. The Check. crucial pot was um, when Phil had the ace king. I mean, that was quite 25. a big pot, 350k or 25. something. Have to be 40,000. Really? Yes. <coughs> now that's 25. 40,000 is the minimum. I, do I, can I check still or do I have to bet 40? You have to go 40. He's trying to bet 25. <laughs> you know, this, that, that whole thing was quite funny. Check. 95. 95,000. And Phil trying to do a little max the value yeah, he on the aces. He tried everything possible in his armory to get <laughs> a few chips there, and um, there was just no chance, not with David's cards. I might have been bluffing with the best hand. Might. Could be a value bluff. <laughs> Easily be. Cool. David Benjamin will not engage him. I mean, like, as far as, like, what Phil wants to talk about what he had. Now, it's just sort of a passage of time where Benjamin's been allowed to limp as opposed to earlier, where Locke was raising all the limps. 50,000. Well, I think he's got to raise this. Cool. Uh, I thought he'd have had to raise that and see where he is. So many scare cards on the turn. Yeah. But then he, you know, <coughs> I suppose he could be thinking Phil could move all in on him. Oh, but he's glad he ain't raised it now. Check. Funny sort of card, and lack. Not a lot of difference, really, is there? It's one way or the other again. Yeah. He won't, won't expect lack to be drawing as live as lack's drawing, you know, the straight cards and the... 95,000. And the flush cards. 
Wow, is Phil just going to fold this? Well, there's so many, even if he hits his card, he could be brown bread anyway. So, um... So unlikely, heads up, isn't it? Yeah. King of spades? I don't know, what would you be doing here? He's yeah, I think you have to call him. It's like he's checked to call, and now he's not sure about the size of the bet. As it turns out, the 10 is no good for him. No, cool. of course not. It's, um, it's a real horrible board, really, with his hand when you've got 1.5 million chips. That's the, that's the difference. Check. I guess the way Phil's played this hand is sort of consistent with kind of like a nine with no kicker, so Benjamin's got to try and get paid off like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it could have got massive on the flop here. Yeah. You know. But then it, if David would have raised on the flop and Phil makes a big re-raise, would he have called with the eight? So he's, David's obviously played the hand 100% right. Feel like you're winning this hand. That's what it feels he's like. <laughs> he's done. He's done. By fold, we're just even in chips. Is that what it is? Two point two, one point three. This is just trying to make. Eight, right? Just trying. This is just posing. Eight. Eight. Oh yeah. Awesome. Eight. But you know, as soon as Phil starts, you know, you know, so you know that you've got him. I don't know how I can call though. So I fold. Wow, it really hurts. I fold. What is he going to tell David he had? David! I tried to lose God, I hope you had an eight. Please let him have had an eight. I tried to lose them all, but don't manage. <laughs> More from the M after the break. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where Premier League Poker 4 is well underway. Cool. Hey, buddy. Raise to 120,000 total. Well, this is this is the first it's cool. first pot in a while that's got a lot of potential here. Yeah, and this is what we were saying. David don't mind calling any sort of um, both your team? decent oh, raises right. with these cards, Jesse. You know, he, he does it on a regular basis. That's all? How much more? <laughs> Check. He's got himself in a bit of a hole here. I don't like this, though, you see. If I'm Phil, I've got to bet this. Yeah. Because yeah, we've seen from David's quite check. prepared to check, you know, what you said. He's prepared to go to the river and showdown, isn't he? What is Phil doing? No, is it, is it all about getting a bet here? But he would have got it on the flop, wouldn't he? I think so. 120,000. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he didn't even think about it, Benjamin, and he still don't care. Roland DeWolf has come into into the room, into the arena. Locke now in a position to knock out Benjamin. Right. Out of momentum changes, Jesse, and like Phil st hasn't stopped hitting hands now, has he? And I don't know how many ace queens, ace kings he's had. I, I don't know how many calls out of the big blind Benjamin's got left in him if he misses the flop again. Yeah. You can't hit a flop unless you're in for the flop. Check, check. Well, they both missed the flop. But, hello. Benjamin's hit. $140,000. He's always been prepared to bet his hand. And Phil's trying to trap check all the time. But David's not the sort of player that you, you can trap check, is he? Cool. No. You know, he, he just goes to the river and turns them over. Well, he's got the best hand, but what's the idea for Benjamin? 
Davy's got every right to think he's in front here. Hold on, sir. I say hold on. No, I said hold on, one sir. Oh, dear. It's 165. I call. Thousand. Cool. Well, Let's see five. how he's got this. Five. This good. is the difference, Jesse. What yeah. I was saying. One sixty-five. Yep. David's betting his hands and Phil's not. Yeah. Yeah. That that is it. That is that's it in a nutshell. <coughs> I had something. I was like, well, I don't want to get blown off this real hand. Right. And flush roll or something. Raise to 95,000. 10 more. You see, David, don't, he just calls them all the time, Jesse. He does. And uh, what's been, well, he's, he's sort of, oh my God. I was almost saying, I think Check. he's kind of, you, you get a little scared. You're like, 70, you know, if I bet without it on the flop, he's just going to know and he's got a piece of that. But generally, I mean, uh, he passes this nine, nine times out of ten. Generally, right. if he don't connect, he goes away. But this is quite an easy board for a king. So he may be thinking about making one call here. You know, you're not expecting the... Uh, oh. See, even there, Jesse's he's got away. I like his game. Mm. I do like it. Probably not gonna go for four weeks. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe the blinds always had to get to thirty and sixty thousand here. Oh. The, Just the way they've been playing, you could see a <laughs> any, cooler any set up pre-flop and the money not 1. go in. Three, five million. So which means you have about the same. Uh, no, I have much less. But with. Actually. 160. I'm all in. Total of thirty big blinds. Yeah, he's got all in here. Yeah. Just see the eights. Okay. This is exciting for the people at home that don't get to go to the casino so often they play online or whatever. That's fun when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> this when you have a hand. I like his style. <laughs> <laughs> and the logic says call, I, I, I guess. No. No? No. Not ace five. He can't. Be. It's just too bad of hand. Yeah, it's so bad. You, you know, he's dominated by any ace. You know, any any two pairs, any uh, two cards over the five. You know, it's obvious. Phil must have a pair or a big ace. He's in massive trouble. He knows that. Pass. Wow, How you that's that quite down? an easy fold. I'll tell you what I had there if you tell me what Over you in the bar, there. DeWolf and Schwartz and sweat in this. I'll tell you what I have. Look, it doesn't even hurt when I lay down a baby ace. Because I know that your king queen is in the nuts. <laughs> or king jack. So, uh, I, 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 in my mind, uh, if you have a better ace, you win. If you have a pair, you win. And if you have king queen, you win. <laughs> it's not like I have, you know, I got to be a little oh, better yeah. in, in value. Right, you have to have ace queen or ace king to really overcoat me and crush me. Right. Something oh. like that. And this is the point at which Benjamin stopped listening to Phil's question and started thinking about this ace king money. 170,000 total. Just under three times. And Locke's in Call. trouble. If it comes king high. Wow, look at this. Ooh, that That's hurts. Phil Lack, what did I tell that you? That hurts. His name's on this tournament. Wow. His name's on this tournament. And, I mean, is Benjamin, oh, he's never, of course he's never not going broke here. He's only got 10 big blinds left. It's going in, Jesse, 100% this is going in. 160,000 is the bet. He'll just smooth cool. And David will think that he's got a, a weaker <coughs> ace. That's amazing. What an amazing flop. It was dominated. Oh. Can 
Can I get a water? <laughs> I need a couple bottle of waters. Mm, you don't need I more think, than one. Um, <laughs> I think one will be enough. Jesse, I really do think now, and uh, Phil needs to move all in now. Because I think he's took too, a bit too long over that. I, I think he needs to move all in. You, you just notice that it's different yeah, than all the other ones? Yeah. All in. Yeah, that's it. I thought he, I fancy he might have lost his customer if, if he'd have um, flat called there. Call? Yeah. Yeah, Benjamin resigned to his fate. And he made that decision quick, and who can blame him? Well, chop it up. Yeah, chop it up. <laughs> Jack, chop it up. Yeah, Jack. I got, I got to see it. Oh, man. Three out of three, Jesse. He is. Oh, he, is he is unstoppable. Wow. He That's is an absolute fantastic result. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. And mathematically, I don't even know if anybody can pass him. No, nobody can't. He's got 48 points. That's yeah, impossible. Oh, my God. He will be the league leader. He will be the chip like leader. The chip. David Benjamin's going to be able to try and exact some revenge on the final table. But what a oh scramble there's going to be in the last two matches for the other six oh spots. My Lord. Oh, my Lord. I think I'm going to start introducing you, Phil, as Phil Premier League Lock instead of Phil Unabomber Lock because you've just won another one. Tell me what's going through your head. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to... I just don't get it. I just, it, like these flops come and I'm like, oh my God, if he has a strong ace, I have to get paid. There's crazy, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm doing my best, but you're not supposed to win three in a row. I had a lot of chips though, 1.8 something against uh, four or 500,000. So I really thought I had a good chance. I did. I had an all in ace nine against King Queen. It was not like the very best chance, but I could have won it there. He won it. Good luck. He's been lucky and played good. So it's good for him. Okay, well, we'll see you uh, coming up into the final then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we know one thing. Phil Locke's going to be at that final table. Perfect three for three. You couldn't be any better. Good showings from Benjamin and Safina. And even though Tran took the bagel, he's still in the top four. In the playoff zone, it's only Luke with a game in hand, so his eight points will serve him well. But in the relegation zone, tough for Fraser, only two points. He's back against the wall. And huge names at the bottom in Helmut G and Negranu. Bill Locke takes down his third consecutive match, making it three for three. Next time, he takes the day off and lets the bottom of the leaderboard have a shot. Join us next time when Phil Halmuth, Yevgeny Timoshenko, Luke Schwartz, and Tony G all take to the table here on the Party Poker Premier League 4. We're warring for points. Listen, I'm not raising with junk. Do you understand that? <laughs> Look at this, Phil. You could be on that track. It's a monkey on it. You got to stay positive. You got to stay positive. Big pimpin' now. In it. Ah. Oh. So sick. <laughs>